okay welcome to eyes open fs youtube channel so uh basically there are some couple of questions that is coming to our telegram channel and our instagram mostly our instagram so i'll be answering some few questions so people are asking how to do a top-down analysis now this is uh a normal pair we are not going to use any other broker we are using this fx cm to uh explain what we are doing here and everything relating to this area this particular day so um this is a uh, bridge dispense against what new zealand dollar you can easily see that we are in a bearish trend but how is the trend formation being formed so you can easily see from here we had what a break of structure to the downside market broke structure to the downside so you denote it as what a break of structure here so this is our bms to the downside so after having a break of structure there's what we call a ring structure and if you have been following us in our this our youtube channel and everything we'll be doing even on some of our other channels you'll be understanding most of the things we are doing so that is just it so around this area you can easily uh, notice something here that we have a ring structure formation from here so and we said within ring structure there's what we call ring structure mitigation and inducement everything that happened within ring structure area and how a deep pullback is being uh is being played we explained that so though uh most of the things that we are we explain them in youtube some other stuff that uh, may be made for the student that are for the community so those ones are what for the community mostly so you see around this area we have what we call internal structure and this what we call internal structure mitigation how market form what internal structure how they mitigate each other so from here we have what internal structure continuation you have a little imbalance below it and a candle here so from there that was where market used what give us what, a structure continuation to the downside it was able to what induce liquidity so this very high is what we call inducement this is what we call what inducement sorry so these are what our inducement high so after market induced that very high you can easily see after inducing this very high though some people do call just a random high or a random low inducement no no, no that's not how it works so after inducing it to create what a strong high a major high depending on the time frame there's what we call time frame difference <clears throat> understanding that this is a major high on that particular time frame so you have to what work on your watch on your chart and how you what you do it to balance so after understanding that you have what a break of structure here to the downside so it was able to create a strong high so you notice that this high is not a strong high so after market not took this high it was able to still continue the break flow so these are the major things that you what you need to understand these are the major things that you know what you need to what understand as what a trader so from there from that very area let's zoom in and see what market did here so you see a lower low here this low here is lower than this low so because of that you could easily see that this is where we have what a break of structure to the downside a what a break of structure to the downside so you do note that as what our bus to the downside so we have here now uh, as recent low so from this recent low now we have gotten what it gave us a sharp retracement into what a primary zone into what we call what a primary zone so it was able to create what a lower high so this is a lower low here a lower high a lower low a recent lower high then it started creating a ring structure and within this ring structure there's what we call ring structure mitigation how market form the ring structure because it's what is quite deep and all so understanding all and most of the move after that market was able to give us what we call a deep retracement it was able to what grab the whole ring structure to create a strong high to create a strong high so these are some perfect pictures as a trader that you need to what understand from there it was able to what use internal structure one of the zone of what internal structure to continue the bearing flow so that means this is now a what a lower low which is what we call external liquidity 
uh often you can call it a weak low so this is now what a uh, major liquidity also refers to what a strong high so from there we have what a new lower low created market create what a recent low here so after creating a recent low here you see that it created lower low a lower high a lower low here then broke this recent high so after breaking this recent high it went back the same thing to into internal structure area internal structure what continuation internal means something that is from uh within uh, a range something that is what internal it means is what is inside what a range so there's something that is external that is outside of that so internal is within our what our external liquidity to our major liquidity which is a high that we expect market not to what to take which is what a protected this high is protected already so why because we are we are what still in downtrend so if this high is taken based on time frame difference and all you wouldn't expect market what to be bearish any longer rather market will be bullish that it will almost take everything that you are seeing on this particular chart this is basically how market works and that is how what it works 100 percent so after that you see here a minor break of structure so easily now you can easily note the range you are trading on higher time frame this is a weekly time frame here so you have a minor break of structure here a higher high higher low higher high and everything then we have a recent higher high here a recent what higher high here so after a recent higher high based on this corrective wave to the upside we have now what this as a higher high this as what a higher low so after having this as a higher low, that means we are trading within this range so after trading this range market just broke this create the higher high higher low a shallow a shallow pullback then create what a new higher high so from there it gives us what a minor break of what structure based on this time frame so this is what a minor break of structure so the same thing the same thing the same thing the same thing to the upside so from here now if let's say for example market is not yet at your PY, we are expecting a bearish flow if market is not yet at uh, a zone where you are not expecting what a bearish flow so it can simply what from this area continue the buy formation to the upside to make a new higher high so that is it so if you are still what expecting market to read almost all this what internal structure to trade into this area now for instance you expect market to come to this area so that means your long-term goal or your long-term trade is what expecting this high to be taken so market cannot take it easily so because of that you go and be flowing flowing market on lower time frame of a minor break of structure here market broke this high so from breaking this high the same thing came back to your what your sc mitigation to what continue the bullish flow to continue what the bullish flow so this is just how market works this is just how market work you don't name what structure randomly so all of them work together a structure without structure the rest can cannot work together uh, the rest will not be what perfect without inducement structure will not be perfect without understanding mitigation inducement will not be perfect without understanding what we call time frame difference i have to understand all of them so all of them will not be what in a right place so this is just how market works so all of them are needed to what for the other ones to what to work out and as a trader you have to what develop what the spirit of what patient the spirit of what patient because if you don't have it believe me you might you can easily what give up in what in trading so even after becoming profitable there will be a time whereby uh, trading will be what kind of boring so there are some days that you will stay hoodie without seeing a good setup that you like so you just have to what, sacrifice many things for trading as what a trader so that is just basic things that you have to do as what a trader so that is that so with time we'll be sharing our most of our uh intraday mostly intraday and what swing trade in our what in our channel on 
telegram we'll be sharing most of what swing trade and what intraday trade on our watch in our channel especially what what we'll be expecting let's see some few why that we expect market and if you have been following us on lower time frame you'll be uh, on sorry on youtube you will understand what i'm saying you understand that at poy there are some major things that we do look for there's what we call intent how to what have a perfect confirmation at poi without trading or because there's what we call fake intent that means you didn't have the right poi so before market get to that area market can simply what give you a fake what intent then come take you out and continue to your direction but those are the things that you what you need to learn as what a trader so please uh, stay active in our channel and do well to uh, subscribe to uh, all our channel and turn on the, the notification so that anytime we drop our chat you'll be what you'll be notified so that is that good luck god bless you